down I'm sorry it didn't work out Man, I really tried I gave it my all I don't like you no more That's why I don't like to get way too involved I don't like how you play with the scriptures you going off Everybody, all they want to do is silence and shoot the messenger Anti-Semitic NBA writer for True Hoop Gerard Hector joins me now to discuss the reaction to Irving's post. Gerard, how's it going, man? I'm good. I wish I was talking about something other than this nonsense that is Kyrie Irving, but, you know, here we are. Here we are talking about nonsense surrounding Kyrie Irving again. We are doing this again. But, Gerard, these posts were made by Kyrie, who's a noted free thinker, and Nets owner Joe Sy took to Twitter to issue a statement on Friday saying that he was, quote, disappointed in Kyrie's support of the film. So what was your reaction to these posts from Kyrie? <sighs> it's Kyrie doing Kyrie type things yet again. You know, you mentioned that the team is one and four, right? They have basketball issues that they need to focus on, but you know, they can't because Kyrie Irving has to do what he normally does. And Dexter, you know me, I'm, I'm not a religious person, um, you know, but there's something that came to mind when, when I saw this latest thing with Kyrie. And it's the, it's the axiom or the phrase, you know, to whom much is given, much is required. And then, you know, I think Spider-Man popularized the phrase, uh, with great power comes great responsibility. I think those are two very apropos things to think about here in this situation. And it talks largely about our problem in society when we deal with uber famous people that are super talented in one thing. When someone is uber famous and super talented in, in a particular thing like Kyrie Irving and has a platform, that fame and that power and that celebrity that we as a society commodify and give them creates this level of invincibility and this belief within a lot of these individuals that they are good at all things and they can speak to all things. Kyrie has spoken about this uh, in the past this idea of being the voice for the voiceless, which you know we all laughed at because that's ridiculous. He is not equipped to be or do any of these things that he is trying to do. The problem is that he thinks he's equipped to do those things. And this is where the danger comes because there's no check and balance in the way to stop him from promoting dangerous theories and putting, in this case, uh, promoting something that puts out hate speech out into the world. You talked about checks and balances here, Gerard. Um, do you think that there will be any punishment against Kyrie from the Nets or the NBA here, or will we see companies with ties to the Nets in the league pull corporate sponsorships? I mean, I think, you know, in the age that we live in, I think, yes, there's an opportunity for companies to cut ties with Kyrie. Um, but, you know, companies are always going to do what's in the best interest of their bottom line, right? If partnering with Kyrie still brings in dollars, it's going to be tough. Now, we saw what Adidas did with, with Kanye West, and, you know, they kind of did that kicking and screaming, right? Because Yeezy was bringing in a lot of a lot of revenue to that company. So we'll see. And I think the NBA will likely put out some kind of a hand out, some kind of fine. I think the Nets may do something as well. But this is a much, much larger issue, Dexter. Um, you know, and again, it's about how we as a society commodify and treat celebrity and, and people like Kyrie Irving. I think when you're talking about the we, many of us, and we put us in this as well too, thought with this being a contract year for Kyrie, that the point guard would be focused on basketball, and on his best behavior. So how do these posts impact his future with the Brooklyn Nets? You know, I've said this before to you privately. If you are a GM or a president of basketball operations, how in any possible conceivable way could you give this dude or consider giving this dude any kind of contract extension. This is a contract year, as you mentioned. He is supposed to be on his best behavior right now. And shalom, 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 and welcome back to another DSTM. I am the messenger. And yeah, y'all see it once again. Y'all see it. The children of the Most High is waking up and saying, hey, man, we don't care about the money. We don't care about the fame. We don't care about nothing. All we want is the truth to go out okay all we want is to set our people free make our peoples free with the truth and as you keep hearing and seeing these guys that's interviewing our brothers 
and sisters, they don't want you to do anything but shut up and dribble. They don't want you to have a, 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 a brain. They don't want you to be able to think. They don't want you to read. They don't want you to write. They don't want you to watch. They don't want you to do anything but entertain them. Okay? So, and they use uh, words like, I thought he was going to be on his best behavior. Like he's an animal. Okay? But they look at you as one-fifth of a human being. And, you know, they called you, uh, uh, you know, monkeys and uh, uh, niggas and um, um, coons and all kinds of stuff. You know, called you all kinds of things out of your name. And they called you everything but a son and daughter of the Most High. So we exposing these things. And they call our own people. Okay? You see uh, what nationality these these brothers are right here that's doing the commentary on them. Okay? They are so-called African American. Okay? But really, they are the Israelites. So they put our own people against us to make us, uh, you know, well, to make the people that don't know what's going on, like, oh, man, these folks are crazy. Because, look, they got our own brothers. The own brothers is on there talking about them. So this is all engineer family. All right? Anytime a brother or sister speak up on what's going on, it's a problem. Right, and as we do these do these things, it's gonna be a lot of kickback, a lot of repercussions, a lot of persecution, a lot of prosecution. It's gonna be a lot of things that come with that. As you can see, what's happening now is a domino effect from one artist to another artist to another entertainer to another celebrity to all these. Um, big acts and big name people in our community is coming into this knowledge of who we are and the Most High is using these guys and girls to put this true fire here. Okay. And it's a lot of people, uh, especially the Jewish community, is not liking this. Like I said, time and time again, it's not about, uh, you know, making little shots and throwing little, you know, things out there um, against the Jewish community. Um, it's about putting this truth out here of who we really are and who they really are. That's why you getting a lot of, uh, you know, celebrities and um, a lot of uh, relationships being cut and a lot of um, so-called chastisement. Um, it's coming to our people that uh, got these deals and, um, you know, the powers that be, the Jewish community is looking at, hey, we fed you. We gave you this. We gave you this opportunity. How dare you disrespect us in this manner when we just basically telling the truth. We just saying, hey, this is what who we are. Hey, he uh, Kyrie, excuse me. He uh, just shared a video from Hebrews to, to Negroes, right? He just shared it. You understand what I'm saying? So what's the problem? Do they not come out with a slave film every year that get talked about and shared and get uh, awarded and all these other things? Is this not public information? So, it's cool for them to, uh, you know, share what happened to our people. And they want us just to look at that and say, hey, y'all slaves. But they don't want to uh, share in any information about where we were as a people before we got here. You understand what I'm saying? So, this is what's happening. And this is of the Most High. Okay? The Most High uses kings. Like I said before. All these major artists and all these multi-million and billionaires are considered kings. He controls their heart. Okay? Like it says over there in Proverbs 21. Alright? 
This word gotta go out to the four quarters of the earth and it is happening. Okay, the Most High is controlling these men, controlling our brothers and putting it on their heart to at least plant the seed. All right. The ways of a man going is of the Lord. All right. The, the man's going, a man's going is of the Lord. All right. I'm paraphrasing. All right. So this is what's happening. There's nothing you can do about it. It's a domino effect. It's going to keep going out and out and out until he get his elect. Because we don't need everybody. We just need the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, like it says over there in uh, Matthew 15, 24. All right. That the Messiah has come to. Uh, he sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We don't need the whole world. We don't need a whole lot of quantity. We need quality of our brothers and sisters. So make sure you part of that one third. Okay, make sure you're part of that elect. Make sure you repent and come into this knowledge of who we are as a people. Because you can see what's going on. They trying to hide it from you. They being real sensitive and they acting like some big old babies right now. And people gonna get tired of it. Like, wow, what's really going on? Why do you keep, hey, every time something be mentioned on this, the Jewish community get the crying. People gonna get tired of that and they gonna expose their self and how they are reacting to it. But don't nobody wanna sit down with the leaders, okay? The bishops, the deacons, you understand what I'm saying? Our leadership, the Israelites, don't nobody want to sit down. The Jewish community don't want to sit down and have this conversation because they know they cannot prove it biblically that they are the Jews of the Bible. But we can. We can. All right? So this information is going to come out and there's nothing you can do about it. Kyrie been on this been on this and it's a lot of more people that's going to come forth and say hey man we don't want no part of, of, of Babylon and you're going to see that our job is to what to warn the people as being watchmen as being the messengers okay we're supposed to go warn the people like you say over there in Ezekiel 3 17 on down okay we're supposed to go warn the people and let them know, hey, this was going on. This is what's going to be your judgment if you don't repent. All right? Don't you know that Christ looked like you? Don't you know the Jews are black? Don't you know we them, uh, the children of the Most High, we them Israelites that came over here on them slave ships? Don't you want to know where we was at before we came over here on these slave ships? Don't you want to learn who you are as a people? But you thought you was a nigga all your life? Huh? You just thought you was black? No. You from a royal lineage, a royal people. And they get scared. They get scared because we coming into this knowledge. So I just wanted to do this quick DSTM. Hey, it's time. It's happening. It's happening. Make sure if you hear this, if you be called, you be called to this knowledge, called to this truth, make sure you repent so you can be the elect, the chosen, the chosen. All right. So I hope this video was edifying. I hope it is strengthening your walk. I hope y'all are having an amazing day, man. Make sure y'all like, share and subscribe. And remember, don't shoot. I am only the messenger. Shalom. Damn. I'm sorry it didn't work out Man, I really tried I gave it my all I don't like you no more That's why I don't like to get way too involved I don't like how you play with the scriptures you going off